we're delighted to be at QCon this year because it's one of the largest developer events in the whole of Europe and it gives us a unique opportunity to speak to many of those who are challenged in delivering complex applications in a highly competitive environment and understand what are their key needs, what are their pressures and how we can help them accelerate those applications through the delivery lifecycle. And we're really pleased today to have met with a number of highly influential DevOps evangelists who've been presenting at QCon today who can each bring their own unique perspectives on how to implement DevOps in a real-world environment. My name is Dave Farley. Uh, I'm the author of a book called Continuous Delivery. Uh, Continuous Delivery uh, is about the reliable, repeatable process of releasing software. It's about automating as much of the software development process as we can to get that reliability and repeatability. DevOps is seen as a, a, a quite scary thing by companies that haven't adopted it on the whole. With some justification, it's a big culture change. Many people have spent many years, many years in their careers learning to do things in what I would call a suboptimal way. So it, it can be challenging. Um, however, there are immense rewards. And so even those companies that are not practicing it now are start, starting to view it and think that there's some, some value there and starting to explore it. Businesses are changing the, their opinion of IT through, through DevOps. Um, businesses have moved from, from traditional waterfall processes much more to, towards agile in order to be able to respond a lot more quickly. DevOps is the next, next component to that. It allows them not only to be able to build the software quickly, to be able to deploy it quickly, to be able to understand what's going on quickly, to be able to, to operate it much more quickly. And that is really key. I work at a small bank, it's a Scandinavian bank and it's, uh, we have offices in uh, Norway, Finland and Sweden. I, I'm a developer and I really enjoy developing software and also I like to see it in production as quick as possible, which means is in our setting that we're, uh, we're a 12 people team and with 12 people team I mean uh, like we're 12 for the whole small bank, which uh, means we're three developers and we also do the operations, we, we push things to, to production. So in, in, in the best of days, we come up with an idea in the morning and then deploy it in the afternoon. I think DevOps ultimately will win. It, 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 it has a lot of the same smells that originally happened with um, Agile, and it has some of the sim similar smells with, um, with cloud computing, where a lot of people thought, oh, well, I'm not gonna go and put my stuff on uh, Amazon. Now you have all kinds of businesses that are now uh, utilizing not only their own elastic infrastructure, but are utilizing external services. And I think DevOps is the, is the natural next leading on um, aspect of all of that. I am certain that in 20, 50, 100 years time, the best quality software development process will look something like what we call continuous delivery and DevOps these days. It will be iterative, it will be based on the scientific method, it will be um, established feedback loops because that's the best way to solve hard problems and software is a hard problem. So yes, DevOps will win.